Hello, my dear J Warriors. This is your Captain Strius, and today I'm going to reveal the toppers' marks before the actual examination. That is in their mock test. What kind of scores do they really get towards the end? And that is the J main score. And the topper that I'm talking about is none other than Daksh. Yes, who is our very own Vidantu student who got all in rank 15. And the best part is he got full marks in J advance in mathematics, which is very, 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 very rare to happen. It's one of the cases because, you know, maths papers specifically in J means so it is hard. But even in J advance, it is even harder and getting a full score over there is very, very difficult and, you know, hats off to him. But what you will see is how predictable it became that, you know, looking at the mock test scores that really could Daksh have known before only that what kind of score range will he get? And what kind of analysis do toppers exactly do? That is exactly what I'm going to showcase to you, right? So if you have not yet liked the video, please like it and subscribe to the Vedantu J English channel. This is your Captain Strius, your physics master teacher. All right. So let us do the analysis. I will just open up the score report card. This is the, uh, you know, report from the last year when Daksh was writing the mock test. And by the way, you too will be giving the exact same mock test in the Ekelavya test series. So that the same questions are there in some of the part tests and you will know how you stand in those particular questions, right? So let's have a look over here. These are different tests, the first test, second test, third test, you know, and these are the physics marks, chemistry marks, max marks and percentage score is also given. Now, yeah, it looks very high, but remember these are the final tests just a month before the actual J mains examination. So by that time, a maturity, uh, a kind of, I wouldn't say saturation, but you are almost near the peak. Now, if you notice the physics marks 90, 95, 80, sometimes 80, 85, 100, 95, 95, 96, 96, 96, 100, 95. Now, uh, physics marks are medium only. Yeah, it is high, but I'll tell you why it is medium because if you look at the math scores, right, there you will see a, a very nice score and really, really amazing thing to see actually, very rare actually. Math score, 95, 100, 100, 100, 95, 95, uh, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, such a student will get full marks in that particular examination. Yeah, there were times where the student lost marks, but you see it is 95, 95, it's multiples of 5, meaning it's not like the student left the question, he got negative mark. He thought that I know the answer, but got negative marks, that's why it is 90 or 95, else it would have been 96 or 92 like that, right? Multiples of 4. Anyways. Same thing over here in physics, if you notice, most of the times the scores are multiples of 5, 90, 95, 80, 85, 95, except for these two tests. That means in these two tests, there were two questions which Daksh did not know. Rest all the tests, at least he has attempted everything. Yeah, this test was uh, bad. I mean, three negative questions, 85, all right, and uh, some Test uh, one negative question and so on and so forth. If you see the scores in chemistry, a similar thing you will notice most of the times. The chemistry scores are a little bit lower as compared to maths and physics. 90, 85, 90, 85, 90, 85, 90, 90, 90 80, like that. So very few times 100. So it was clear in Daksh says head that maths is my strength. There I have to give my 100%. Physics is uh, also the strength, but you might lose a couple of marks in negative, some concepts here and there. And sometimes I might not know something. But in maths, it never happened that Daksh did not know the topic. He at least attempted it. In chemistry, there were times where Daksh did not know the topic and also made a lot of mistakes, you know, in the questions. So, uh, you know, this is also not to scare you. I mean, obviously, his All India rank 15, guys. The score reports are going to look really fantastic. But it's okay. Our scores might look 50, 60, 70. That's not a bad thing. But, you know, the analysis which needs to be done looks something like this. 
every test you need to make a mistake log did you misread the question okay did you misread like something do not uh, which of the following is not correct you read it at which of the following is correct that is misreading or question last was on potential you found out electric field something like that did not understand the question only you are thinking 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 what is us i am not able to start only you have marked the answer only wrong like you thought b b b but while marking you marked c or you thought this should be correct but something happened while marking you know you made a mistake okay marked wrong calculation mistake you solved it correctly but made a blunder in the calculation number 2 was missing in the formula you missed some uh, value okay something like that you did not know only the topic only you did not know it's not like you did not understand if you knew the topic you would have done it probably but you had no idea you have not studied only sometimes you did not reach that question time was insufficient okay concept was wrong you attempted it calculation was fine but you attempted it using some law which is not valid or some exception was there and that was a wrong concept or you took long time i mean you solved it you got it correct this is a very important parameter you have taken more than usual time that means there is something you need to look in that particular paper if there are many questions which you are taking long time if you notice one thing none of the parameters mentioned here has the word silly mistake because i'll tell you why silly mistake is the most common excuse and very easy excuse oh sir silly mistake sir silly mistake what is this silly mistake why it happened root cause analysis is needed that is why in this table you know i have kept only those parameters which are like pinpointing and strategically analyzing where we are going wrong and once you do this analysis then you understand which kind of mistakes you are doing again and again maybe every time calculation mistakes four mistakes then three mistakes then seven mistakes then six mistakes then seven mistakes then eight mistakes that clearly tells every time calculation mistakes are happening i need to do my rough work neatly i should not miss steps that's how you will tackle it okay say for example you did not know that topic then you know that okay i have to study that topic or i have to leave the question early and i should focus on other questions so maybe there were questions like six questions you did not know and eight questions you did not have time that means you have wasted a lot of time thinking about it so sorry guys you have wasted a lot of time thinking about that particular question rather you could have solved this particular questions which you did not find time for or maybe there were three questions which you took long time for maybe you could have attempted that you know in a shorter time you would have saved more time you would have come back over here so lot of things can happen looking at the table just don't fill up this table sir such a nice table analyze why that three number has come can i make it two can i make it one can i make this six four can i make this four two like that if you misread the questions always are you misreading or maybe i am not misreading every time maybe you know i am hardly misreading so that way i am cool so this kind of analysis is needed and remember to err is human every human will make a mistake you might even repeat that well that is called stupidity or you are being careless but if you are repeating again and again then that is being a donkey who said this proverb shreya sir said it so guys this is the kind of mock test analysis which you need to do and slowly your scores will gradually improve even by not repeating the mistakes and fixing your problems okay by the way the je eklava test series launch is happening very soon whether it is high weightage topic test part test full test analysis all india ranking and way they are support everything is a part of it and much more which will be revealed during the launch eklavia the next batch for your test analysis ranking everything boost your scores attend that class and get to know everything about the eklavia test okay so make sure you are checking out the video the live video is there in the upcoming sessions right over here yes 3rd of december 6 pm yeah go ahead and uh, mark your attendance right away right now a lot of kids are already waiting for it thank you so much do let me know if you still have any more doubts in the comment section and do not forget to like this video and share this as well this is your captain shyam signing off